Hey guys, it's Abelia. We are back for another snack trying video. Today we are trying uh, snacks from France, which I'm pretty excited about because I hear France has some good shit. Um, I'm just getting here with my little brother. And yeah, I apologize for the shitty lighting. Not much I can do about that. But yeah, let's just eat right into it. I think we've had one of these before. Uh, France was in one of our, I think, the holiday episode. Episode. Holiday video. <laughs> you know what? Uh, yeah, we'll just go down the line right This is... The Butter Biscuits that have made French swoon since 1888. Le Sables de la Mere Poulard. Pure Poulard. Beret. Poulard. Pure Butter Biscuits. Packaging looks pretty cool. Not gonna lie. I forgot these are straight out the fucking fridge. Yeah, I literally just went downstairs to grab it, so. Cute packaging. Very so cute. this says that they're butter biscuits. Oh my god. <laughs> did, did they say eighteen eighty eight? That's yep. that's pretty cool. It says eighteen eighty eight on the that. cookie. Oh, there's not three people. Ooh. That's pretty good for a butter brisket. I <laughs> mean, you want butter brisket? Of course you'll be a fucking weirdo. Mm, those are actually good. Hey, what do you rate it on the one to on the on the one to what would you do? One to ten? No, one to five. Zero to five. Um, I give it like a four. It's a three. It kind of tastes yeah. like um. She very likes she, it. She eats it. She eats crumbs over. That's fine. But yeah. It kind of tastes like um. God, it tastes something familiar that we have here. I don't want to say vanilla wafers. Mm mm. No. Oh, the uh Danish cookies. So you get in the tin, the butter oh, cookies. Oh, yeah. Yep. Just thing That's pretty, all the time. pretty much exactly what these are. Those are actually pretty Little good. ones you, you, your grandma keeps the needle and thread in. Mm hmm Alright. Oh. What old people get. Uh, I don't... Oh, I've never... Okay. What? <laughs> Goat cheese and... I don't know what... Espelette? Espelette? Chili potato chips. Interesting. This looks like goat cheese and pepper. Yeah, some chili sort of pepper. pepper. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take a wild guess that these are just gonna taste like barbecue chips, as every fucking chip flavored I've ever tried from every one of these countries tastes like. What does it smell like? <laughs> Not good. You know, maybe the taste Bad. is different. This can't be worse than like those oh, the Taiwan popcorn. <laughs> oh fuck. It's alright. Tastes like that. Is that the goat cheese that I'm either tasting and smelling? Probably. Those aren't good. I, I don't like those. They're weird. Well, okay, they're not weird. French, they're, not, they're not for me. Real French potatoes and sunflower oil. I think of those are not, like, those are like a 1 out of 10. <laughs> or 1 out of 5. Like a 2 out, two, two out of 5? They're, the smell is really. I think it's the goat cheese, and I off. don't think I like that very much. Okay. Can you read? Alright, this is. They're just called strawberry chews. Why are they heavy? <laughs> There's a lot in They're there. fucking heavy. Strawberry bonbons, chewy candy. Sweet, chewy with a touch of tartness. So it tastes like... Strawberry, I guess. Like sweet tarts or something. I hope not. I don't fucking like sweet tarts. Mary. Okay, good. Mr. Enjoy. Powdery, 
Oh yeah, fuck now. You're not biting through this anytime soon. I use my fucking wisdom tooth. I got a knot on it. <laughs> okay, that, I don't think they're supposed to be fr uh, fridged. Unless I've been in the fridge for a couple days. <laughs> I got it yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah. Fuck, man. <laughs> I'm going <to> nibble. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. Okay, now I'm getting somewhere. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got through it. These motherfuckers warm in the sun. God damn. <laughs> Fuck. Don't right. It's got a little gooey center to it. But, I mean, <clears throat> it kind of tastes like a generic, just like. Strawberries, chewy candies. Like a light, uh, head chew. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not give, bad. I give it like a 3.5. Yeah, yeah. It's not bad. I agree. Okay. We're gonna wait. I'm done. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna give you buses over. A raspberry roll cake. Roll cake with a cake roll with raspberry filling. So, I'm gonna guess these are like those, um. Like the little Debbie's. The little Debbie's little snacks thing. Oh, I know what you mean. I was really spongy, huh? It feels like a hospital. <laughs> fuck, what the fuck? <gasps> It smells like a children's hospital. I know, because I was in one a couple years ago. It smells like a children's hospital. Just take a bite. <laughs> it's super spongy. It is. Super soft. Even after being in the fridge for over 24 hours. It's not terrible. It just, it kind of just tastes like the little Debbie's strawberry rolls that we have here. So I'm not super impressed by it. But it's not bad, you know? It's alright. I'm sure the shit they have in France is probably more healthy than the ones we have in America. Probably remind me of like a Fig Newton. Oh yeah, those two. Um. Four. I'll do like a three. I would say the strawberry candy is probably better than this. <laughs> well, well, you know what? Yeah, probably. Alright, I swear to God we've had these before. Uh. Dark chocolate chip. Chocolate chip cookie truffles, decadent dark chocolate with cookie pieces. We had a different kind. It was different. I think it was okay. like strawberry chocolate. Oh, it was like, um, I think it was raspberry, actually. Raspberry. I think it was raspberry, yeah, because that, that was in our holiday one, I think. That's right. So here's the, there's a cookie kind. Yeah, because I remember I said it was super chocolate-like. Yeah. I have a feeling these are actually going to be good. Hopefully I got the next one quick. Oh, these are big. Like fucking mountains. I like how it says two ten per pack, and there's fucking six pieces in here. It's kind of American, uh, it's kind of American like. I'm half sectioning it. You know, kind of tastes like you're just downing hot cocoa powder. <laughs> yeah. It's good. Oh, that's hella strong though. That's like very dense chocolate. But yeah, it literally tastes like you're just like eating the powder of hot cocoa mix. It's really good though. The outside is, I find terrible. Out, like, you need to break into it immediately. Or I, it's really gonna get stained. I thought those are five. Out of five. Mm -hmm. Mm. Only downside is that I probably couldn't eat the entire bag because I might throw up. These? Alright, yum bag time. Are popcorn truffles. Oh, I did it in the wrong order. It's fine. Popcorn truffles. So I'm guessing popcorn flavored truffle. 
six. <laughs> That's all it says. Popcorn is... flavored? So it looks like the same fucking thing, but is it tastes like popcorn? I think there's popcorn in the middle of it. It better not be. I don't know. Oh, that's weird. <clears throat> that wasn't what I expected at all. <laughs> that hit me right in my fucking my gabagool. <laughs> that's weird. I fucking hate popcorn. So do I. I can't have popcorn anymore. And I like popcorn, but, you know. May contain traces of wheat, almond, hazelnut, egg, pistachio, she nut, pickery, and pine nut. Okay. Oh, that would kill dinner. <laughs> yeah. That would be a nice prank. Yeah. Oh, yeah, totally. Here, have this. Go to the anaphylactic shock. Yeah. It's not bad, though. I don't know what to expect. It has, like, it had tiny popcorn pieces in it. But it kind of tastes like... Because you can buy, like, like drizzled popcorn now. It kind of just tastes like that. So it wasn't bad. It's just, like, very, like... I hate that literally have to warm these up. <clears throat> They're Fleur de Sel Caramels. Fleur de Sel Caramels. France's famous Fleur de Sel meets buttery sweetness. So I'm guessing it's just going to be a fucking... Um, like everything else we've had that's caramel, fucking Biddle Honeys, whatever. Oh yeah, probably. Salted caramel is so popular, I think it's been around for forever, but in reality, humans figured out space travel before they figured out how this is now iconic flavor. It was only in 1977 that confectioner Henry de Rue <clears throat> debuted the first salted caramel made with Britney's Henry. famous... Oh, yeah. Sea salted butter. By 1980, it was voted country's best candy, and by 2008, it had gone global with Hagen Dazs and Starbucks debuting salted caramel products. With this yum, you'll find why French flavor has stuck around quite literally. <laughs> Sorry, I had, to, I had to warm mine up a little bit more because my jaw's already fucked up, and I do not want jaw surgery. So. Bit of honey. And I fuck with bit of honey. You know, every caramel thing that I've tried, I think it just goes to show that I fucking hate caramel. Really? <laughs> I fucking hate it. Wow. Unless it's what mixed with chocolate or it's coffee, then I'll I then I like it because it's you know, it's coffee and it's chocolate. But by wow. itself, I fucking hate it. That's crazy. I fucking love caramel. I mean if it's an ice cream too, I'll eat it. Oh. But Wow. I just fucking despise caramel. I can't. I don't know. I, I don't know what it is, honestly. But. Weird. I give it like a two. Alright. That'd be a foul. We get a foul. Foul. I'm just looking at the nutrition facts. Wow, 80 calories for that roll cake. That's not bad. Yeah, if it was a little Debbie's, it would have been like 210 yeah. for one fucking little pack. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, France. Yeah, 210 for the pack of truffles when there's six inside. This is heavy as fuck for 310. This is that's, strangely that's, heavy yeah, as hell. Yeah, it's 310 for the whole thing. Jeez. 120 for eight pieces. Only 25 for that caramel. If it was a bit of honey, it probably would have been 150. Thanks, sir. And the popcorn truffle was 40. Ew. <laughs> All right. I like to keep these because they have cute little stuff in it. Like there's a recipe and there's um, like fun little stuff. I have the other ones. I still take that popcorn. Somewhere. Well, there's trees right here. Eat something else. I'm good. <laughs> Um, I think the best ones I like was probably the butter biscuits or the chocolate yep. chip truffles. Um, 
I definitely did not like. I think the chips were the worst ones for me, honestly. Because I, like I fucking hate. I didn't like those at all. But um, everything else was pretty good. I I expected France to be a little bit better, but I st I still think bad. I still think Poland takes the lead. Oh yeah. With the better. Oh yeah. Snacks and stuff. <sighs> um. Great, it's only a handful of snacks. Mm hmm So. Yeah, cause we get we get mm -mm, like what six? Is it six yeah. snacks? I mean. Just about. One, two, three, four, five. Seven. So, five plus the two little in the yum bag. But, that's also because it's the cheaper option. The bigger, because my dad subscribed to the, like, $15 one, which is just a small handful. You can get more if you buy the bigger one, but my dad didn't want to do that. But, um. No, need them any snacks. <laughs> yeah, especially because anyway. since half of them don't get eaten. <laughs> yeah. But, um, no, France definitely takes, I think, Number two on the list because they have some really good um really good stuff. Sure. Come in. Okay, now I can have Come here. my dad and try the other snacks. Oh, um you know? No, he just left. I don't know where he went. But he was supposed to need to work today. Anyways. That's basically it. I'm also sorry that there was a delay in this. My dad's last payment didn't go through, so that's why it got delivered late. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited to see what's going to be next month. Uh, there's I, like, where have we gone? There's, uh, yeah, we've been like everywhere at this point. I'm like, have how much? Australia? No. I want to try some Australian snacks. I'm afraid for Australian <laughs> snacks, honestly. Nah, it's really like s spiders in a sucker. Yeah, like the scorpions and like. Keep this. Mm -mm, I just keep the stickers on the pamphlet. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that was it. Um, hope you all enjoyed that. And uh, I'll see you next month for whatever's there. <laughs>